Our local media do a fantastic job, but sadly, um, some cuts are proposed for the BBC in the south of England and across the country. I've been meeting journalists today and the National Union of Journalists to hear, hear more about this. And Paul, maybe you want to say a little bit, Paul's from the NEJ, perhaps explain some of the pressures on the profession at the moment and what it means to our communities. Sure, I mean, under these plans being put forward by BBC managers, local radio would, would be decimated. So after two o'clock weekdays, local radio stations would start to share rather than they have what they do at the moment. And at weekends, they, they would be sharing with, with neighbouring radio stations. And of course, the key to, to local radio success, the reason it's been going for more than 55 years, the reason it has 5.7 million listeners every week is because it's local people tuning in to hear about what's going on in, in their local communities like, like Reading. They don't want to tune in to hear about what's going on in a, in a much wider region. And once that starts to happen, we absolutely believe that listeners will, will start to, to switch off and it will be the beginning of the end for, for local radio. So we are urging everybody to, uh, to write to the DG of the BBC to complain about these proposals. Thank you for explaining that. Please do write in. It's important to support our local media, and particularly the BBC in this particular case. Uh, and I do look forward to working on this and supporting them. Thank you.